Right, today I'm out and about We are new Land Rover We just put it through its MOT yesterday We just got this one last week We've got three vehicles we're building uh, This is the third one to come in This is going to be one of our passenger vehicles We're just going to crack on and get all this done So this is, well it's, it's past its MOT now uh, but we just want to get fix a few things that were uh, advisories. Uh, this is a bit of a, a great vehicle that we've got, uh, and it'll be the sixth vehicle in our fleet. Uh, I know it's a, a bit of a bright colour now, but if you look over here, Marco just pan round. That's how it's going to look in the end, and our colours, which is uh, uh, blue and black, uh, so that will fit in with the expedition fleet. It's a great little vehicle. This uh, left hooker as well which is good because we're all on the continent a lot of the time so this will probably be a lead vehicle that can actually overtake and stuff like that and relay back to the rest of the convoy about safe roads and stuff like that hey, What are we up to this weekend? So this weekend we're going to be painting vehicles Duncan's been prepping this one all week for paint uh, and today Richard's here and Duncan they're prepping this the yellow pearl uh, you know, they're all getting ready for painting as well. So we're going to be doing both these vehicles this weekend using Raptor paint. I'd like to thank Jason Morse at Raptor UK, who's once again supplying us with the paint uh, for the both vehicles. And uh, a Vary gun. We're going to use a Vary gun, a Raptor Vary gun, for the first time this weekend. Uh, watching a lot of videos on it, and it's all looking pretty good. Uh, so this is our newest addition to the fleet, this yellow one. Uh, so, we've done a little bit to it, not too much to it so far, uh, just getting it all prepped up. We've just got to do a bit of etch priming. Uh, Richard here is now working on masking up. As you can see, we've got the defender almost done. Uh, Rob is working on rubbing down. Uh, just getting this vehicle better prepared. Just got a little bit of rubbing down to doing that one. And around this side, you can see we've got the doors done, windows done. Just got a bit to do on this now. Not much left to do. So here we are, end of the day. Everything's masked up, prepped, and etched, primed, ready to go tomorrow morning uh, with the Raptor paint. As I said, we're going to be using a Vary gun for the first time. So we'll have a wee practice on that before we start. Everything's ready to go. Good day, eh, Rich? Yep, was. Yeah, it was. Loads done. Uh, we did get loads done. More, more than I thought we'd get done today. Eh? Yeah. All awesome. the doors are ready to go as well. Uh, bonnets and back door are going to be black, so they'll be done after the blue paint. So, good day. Good day. Everything's ready, all masked up, so we can get painted. Now, the last thing before painting the vehicles is to make sure that the surfaces are clean. Uh, they've all been uh, etched primed, but our last task is to make sure they've all been rubbed down. Uh, so that's what the process they're doing now, getting every bit of last bit of dust off so we don't uh, contaminate the paint as we paint because it just won't stick to it, it's as simple as that. So that's the last task we have to do. So the defender's been done, just finishing on the disco, and then we're ready to start getting prepped for paint. So today we're going to be painting the uh, two vehicles, one Land Rover Defender and one Land Rover uh, Discovery today, uh, Discovery 2, and we're going to be using tintable uh, Raptor liner. You know, like uh, we are very, very lucky to be sponsored by Raptor. Uh, so a big shout out to Jason from Raptor who supports us all the time. Now, mixing Raptor tintable uh, we were worried about it, so we've looked at some videos, but we thought we'd do a video for it just to show you how we are doing it. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the same for everybody. You can mix Raptor in the bottle by adding 50 milliliters of base coat to 711 uh, milliliters, which comes in the bottle. So people think you get a liter of paint, you don't. What you do is get 711, you add 50 milliliters of base coat, then you add 237 milliliters of hardener so that's when if you do it in the bottle but because we are doing two vehicles today we're going to do it in batches of eight eight liters a time or eight bottles so what we do is we decant the bottle and i'll show you what raptor paint looks like uh, a tintable uh, it comes it's a kind of creamy 
uh, mixture. And we have, we have decanted seven bottles in here already. We're just putting this last bottle in. So while, while that's going in there, uh, what we then do is uh, we'll mix this up with the base coat. So we've now got uh, eight bottles of tintable in here. Uh, and this gives us uh, just under, I think it's 5.6 litres uh, uh, of tintable paint or the Raptor liner. What we then add to that, taking it at 50 millilitres of uh, base coat, we add eight times that, 400 millilitres of colour to this, which we'll mix in together. We'll show you that process in a bit. Once that's all mixed up, so we get an even coat through the vehicles, uh, we'll then uh, decant this from here back into the bottles, and then we'll add 237 millilitres of tintable, to, or sorry, hardener to that, which you get that exact amount when you buy a box of four of uh, Tintable Raptor. So that's kind of the process we're using just now. As I said, not everybody's going to do this the same way. This is just the way we've chose to do it. Uh, we could have mixed it in a bottle when we did think about that, but because we're going to be doing painting all day, so this is our first batch. When this batch is gone, we'll let the paint dry and we'll do a second coat by just mixing up another batch. So that's how you mix. Raptor bed liner, tintable. But this is the Veterans in Action Blue that we've used in all our vehicles. So, like I say, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, mix 400 millilitres of this into the Raptor mix. Right, to get our colour mix, what we did is we decanted some of our uh, colour paint, our base coat, which we'll just put it into a jug just now, a any measurement. And what we're going to do then is we're going to use a second jug to get the exact measurement we need, which is 400 millilitres. Thank all the Sundays and we're good to go, summer. No. First thing at 10 o'clock when everybody, every man and his dog's doing the same. There we go, we used a bit of masking tape to make sure we got the level right on a flat surface. But I did notice that uh, the masking tape wasn't put on too straight because it was Richard at that. It's a coin from the jug. Uh, is that a coin? Yeah, I made so, allowances for that. So that's the four ml. So what we're going to do is we're going to decant this in now into the paint mixture. You got a brush to get the rest of it out. Yeah, just got a brush there, mate. Do you know why I put that tape slightly higher? Yeah, to get that extra little bit for residue that's left in there. And we'll just get all the colour out we can using the brush. Don't forget to leave the residue behind. Yeah, because that's the extra bit. You muck up my calculations. <laughs> and you've got an extra bit on the stick as well that you're going to use to mix it. Yeah. And there we go, that's our colouring. And it's just a case of mixing it up now. So here we go, that's a, the, all the all the colour mixed in with the Raptor paint uh, to use a nice consistent colour so that we're getting an even spread over all the vehicles of the same colour. Now, a lot of people don't like Raptor, and I get that. If you're driving about town or just in a green lane, I get that. You know, like uh, they can devalue your vehicle. Uh, but for us, we build the vehicles for longevity, plus we take them overseas on expeditions. So for us, Raptor paint is a fantastic paint. We've used them in over 20 countries in the last, I don't know, three or four years. Uh, we've been through some unbelievable terrain, like it's scratched the vehicles to hell, but it just buffs up with Raptor. That's why we use Raptor. Now, I get why people don't use it. So this video is not about, please use Raptor or anything like that, or self-promotion like other people do. This is just about how we do it, you know, like, and it's important that for each person it's different. Raptor's really good to us. Uh, we are sponsored by them, and that's not the reason we do it. We do it because we like the paint, and it's hard wearing, and we are looking to the future for our vehicles. So the vehicles we are building, not the two we're painting today, the next two vehicles we're, we're uh, building, they're going to be designed to last for the next 20 years, and Raptor's a thing that will keep them looking good. We've uh, added... 761 
millilitres of mixed Raptor tintable. So that's 711 of the paint, 50 millilitres of uh, the uh, base coat. And now Duncan's going to be doing, what is the, what is the figure again, Duncan? 237 millilitres of the hardener, which will then put that into the bottle. Then it's a case of mixing that up together for a minimum of two minutes, but we would say about five minutes of mixing. Now these uh, little measuring jugs come with uh, the box of four of the tintable. So if we get our calculations right, this should fit right into the top of the bottle. And as you can see there, spot on. PPE is uh, obviously really important when we're doing this. We get good ventilation, the big doors open. Uh, I'll show you that. Big doors open over there. So we've got plenty of ventilation in here. But a mask and normal PPE kit, glove, paint suit if you have them, if not a set of overalls. Now we are using the Raptor Varigun today. Now what makes that different? And we are, we're, we're going to be spraying at 50 PSI, is that right? Uh, yeah. About 50 PSI. So the Varigun is different from the other shoots gun that they use because it's got a variable uh, kind of nozzle on the front so we've set it for we're going to do a test run first it's we've wound it back uh, wound it forward twice then locked that on and we're going to see what uh what kind of surface that gives us like uh as in whether it's kind of more speckly or like, i don't know what the proper words are but you know like uh, the the finish that we want eh? we i text that's a good word that isn't it texture we want a finish coat for the base very, a very fine coat for the base one don't we so two might be too much but we're going to try that first and then we're going to wind it back maybe one to see what we get just to uh, just to get the coat that we want for our base coat i think that's pretty good eh? mm. Ah, the first one, mate. Try that again, further up. Further up. So there you go, that's going to be our base coat. A nice, thin, uh, kind of... Uh, we, we did it two notches, didn't we? Two turns, yeah. Well, two turns and then locked that on, and that's what we're going to do for a base coat. Muffled voice, I'm still wearing a mask. I'm just going to take you a quick uh, look around the defender. This is the first coat on the defender. Looking pretty good. That's just the first base coat. You can still see a little bit of yellow coming through it, but that's fine, that's normal. That's the first base coat. Doors over here. Again, you can still see some of the yellow coming through. And front end, looking pretty good. Rich has now started on the disco. There you go. Rich 
Rangers, what do you think of that very gun? That's good. It's much better than the shoots, isn't it? Better, yeah, yeah. It's... Yeah. If you can just, I will see if I can get it. Here's the finished article. It's a, a quite a fine uh, finish we've got. We, we haven't gone for a heavy one, and it looks pretty good. Now we come back. Look, it might look patchy, as because some of it's still drying, and because of the overhead lights on it. So it can look a bit patchy, but I have to say it's pretty damn good, isn't it? It is good. And I was good so, coat. Yeah, that yeah, was good. We one one thing we learned today is we we did four bottles that we mixed up four bottles and we found by the time we got the fourth bottle it was spitting out. It was starting to go off. Uh, so what we did after that was we uh, we just mixed them up just as uh, as one had a new bottle had started. We mixed another bottle up yeah. and uh, we went that way and it was much better. In fact, it was so easy to use a gun then, wasn't it? It, it is like normal spray. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. fantastic. So like, here, here's a disco, I'll take you back here so you can see the pair of them. But there you go. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Went a day. Pretty good. Pretty good today. Yeah, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. I think... Uh, I don't get my sleeve out of the way. We achieved what we wanted to. I think we probably achieved a bit more, did we not? Mm. Yeah. I think uh, me and Duncan at the start of the weekend, we were hoping to get the two of them done, but... You know, it was a big task, done. wasn't it? We got one done that was okay. And two was a, two was a bonus and we got two done. Aye. But we'll get the two done. I have to say, I'm well impressed with the, the very gun. I uh, say me. Uh, I'm very impressed with the very gun. Well, what I was thinking with the very gun, uh, we've used the shoots gun before, and it's all done on uh, your texture's done in your distance away, isn't it? Really, the pressure, isn't it? Yeah, and the pressure you you do with, with the very gun. What we found today was we had it. At, 50 PSI the whole day, yeah. and thereabouts. Yeah, there are thereabouts. And when it was working at its peak, it was just so easy to use, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, as we said earlier, we myself and Duncan mixed up 40 start with, thinking we'd go through it a lot quicker. Uh, and the first one, I think you done the whole back and the whole side and maybe a front. Yeah, yeah. So they, they were sitting about for a while. Eh? We put too much in the first one, I think. We did, I think. Uh, so bad. they were... Uh, that was leaving a bit too much gap at the top. Yeah. Well, that's another learning thing, isn't it? Like, yeah. to leave a gap at the top, to allow the expansion when you uh, put the very gun, isn't it? And yeah. so you can still shake it and, and mix it better. I think we should wear it out into the sunlight. We can do. Right, here we are. So there's a, there's a de deafener. Like, uh, I think it's a pretty good day, wasn't it? Yep, yep. So, Richard, you used the Varigan most today. What, what was your opinion of the Varigan? It was good, it was easy to use. Compared to the Schutz gun before? Much nicer finish. It's a lot closer to normal spray paint than the Schutz gun. Uh, I, I think I think the finish we've got today is fantastic, if I'm yeah, honest. Like, it's you know, yeah, it's, not quite it's so better than we had before, yeah. I think. Uh, it's not going to take your skin off if you brush against it. <laughs> no, no, it's quite a fine texture, isn't it? Uh, and I don't know if you can see that uh, from where I'm, where I am. The now I'll get a closer into that, but it's a pretty good finish. Now all we've got to do now is the roof's going to be black, so we need to mask up again tomorrow, and then we'll get the bonnet to do and the rear door and the vent and vents. the vents and stuff like that. And we have got the Raptor. Uh, sorry, the the wing kits, but we'll do them at a later date. They don't need to be done tomorrow. Well, we can get them done as well. Well, I've been getting wire wheeled uh, yeah. tomorrow. We'll do them. They're so. anyway, they? Yeah, they're rubbing. You sanded them, did you know? I've not touched them, mate. Oh, so you sanded them. No, no, we'll get them. I'm not taking long in the kit. So, that's it. So, it's. Uh, I'm going to show you the, the, the finish we got. Because Richard's wanting to sit down. Because he's been on his feet all day. So, if you can see that, I don't know if you can get it from that angle. That's kind of better. There's the finish we've got, which I think, get right close in. It's a pretty good finish. 
You see the front of the vehicle there. From the vents. The vents are going to be black as well. So I think it's pretty damn good. So good job, eh? Yep. Good job. Mm -hmm.